I mean, they're doing things a little bit differently, potentially being faster in some stops. But do you push your guys to look at doing that pit stop like the JGR as opposed to the traditional way because what could be at stake? Or how do you look at that from your point of view? Well, um, we get our stat sheets every week from different organizations. Uh, I think every manufacturer puts out a stat sheet on pit road. And our pit crews have won the last three weeks between the eight and the three. So we're doing it traditionally and we'll probably stick to that. You know, we've been really rolling on pit road. Uh, Charlotte, uh, we I think one average too. So it was good to do it at Sonoma, Charlotte, um, and then the one before that, the eight crew at Gateway, I think, had it. So, yeah, I don't think we're going to change. Um, and I think there's a chance for more to go wrong, but you do have a slight opportunity of going faster as well. Um, we'll see when some of those other guys get back that they've had out from JGR, how much speed they, they get back. Um, but, I mean, it's always on the table. You know I mean? If they're consistently beating you, we would look to change. But right now we feel like our way is, is good. Hey, uh, next week, uh, Richard Petty turns 85. I'm just curious of just a uh, Richard Petty experience or memory that kind of sticks out for you. Well, for me, I mean, not just a memory. I mean, for one memory uh, would be winning the Dirt Race Eldora, and he was the last person to win on dirt, taking that picture with him, a photo with him. But for me, it's just the stalwart of our sport. Um, last, he, every weekend, I see him get on the same plane that I'm getting on, on Victory Air, flying to the track, and just the consistency that he shows his employees, the people that are around him, um, you know, that's tough. I mean, this is a grind of a schedule, and he's still out there every weekend. You're going to see him this weekend um, in the same you know outfit that he usually wears, all black with his cowboy hat. Um, he's just consistent, and that, that's huge in our sport. I mean, some of these guys that have done it for their entire lives, my grandfather included. Um, you know, it's just cool to see the king out there every weekend. Can you, you know, talking about the pit crews this past week, so um, FedEx Racing announced their Jackman got a deal. They signed him. It was like an announcement, you know, through yeah. 2027. That just shows you how important pit road is, that we're getting people announced for long-term contracts on pit road. Yeah. What do you think about all that? Well, that's pretty cool. You know, Darrell used to be my Jackman. Um, he came from RCR, and we developed him, so I'm really proud of that. And, glad that he got a, a long-term contract and I think it's good you know I mean a guy that consistent on pit road they usually get rewarded so uh, just like any sport you know it's one of those things you either you pay him long term or you pay him short term and, and see how it works out and um, happy for Darrell on, uh, on that um, it's been going on for a long time but it's the first announcement so I mean I think you should see more of that in the future um, with like I said, last season you had um, you were on the outside of the playoff bubble, um, didn't make it with the playoffs. So this um, this year you're outside the playoff bubble. Does last year feel like this year where you're on that playoff bubble? Can you get in, or do you feel like you're more in that win now situation with how many different winners we've had? I feel it's a win now situation. Um, uh, you know, it's just there's so many um, teams right there and points that are tight, but. Uh, and I think this is the first time with 10 races to go that you could legitimately see uh, 16 winners this year. I mean, it's not unheard of to have uh, 16 with 10 races to go. I feel like six is a doable number, especially with the different types of racetracks that we're going to. Uh, so I feel like we're more in a win now when it comes to myself and Tyler Reddick, but we'll fight for points when we have to. But I mean, you know, we'll be taking aggressive moves to try and win these races when it comes to strategy. What track? Uh, sorry, what track do you have circled for your win for the next coming up to the this playoffs? This is one of them. I mean, this is a good track for me. Um, it's been a place that I won in the Truck Series and been competitive in the Xfinity Series. Uh, we were pretty fast yesterday, so I'm, I'm happy about that. And if we can get a solid qualifying position here. Um, I know my pit crew can get it done, and then I can too when it comes down to it. 